if you go to McDonald's anywhere in the world, you will find uh, French fries or chips, as you call them, and you will find that they're always made from the same potato, the russet Burbank potato. This is a potato from America that's unusually long and, um, and difficult to grow, and, but that's what they want because uh, when, when, you're making, when you're McDonald's, you like those red boxes with a little bouquet of very long chips. Uh, it looks really good. And so they insist that all their potatoes be russet Burbanks, and they further insist that they have no blemishes at all. There's a very common defect of, of russet Burbank potatoes called net necrosis. And you've seen potatoes with a little brown line sometimes or spots that come through it. Well, McDonald's won't buy them if, you, if your potatoes have that. And the only way to eliminate that is to eliminate an aphid. And the only way to do that is with a pesticide called Monitor that is so toxic that the farmers who grow these potatoes in Idaho uh, won't venture outside into their fields for five days after they spray. Uh, and then when they harvest their potatoes, they, they have to put them in these atmosphere-controlled sheds the size of a football stadium uh, because they're not edible for six weeks. They have to off-gas all the chemicals in them. So you see the desire for a certain kind of chip leads to a certain kind of agriculture. But the other thing on the health side, when I started learning about nutrition, about which, by the way, much less is known than you might think, um, that the scientific understanding of nutrition is still very primitive. Um, but I learned that what mattered most about one's health was not necessarily the nutrients, good or bad, that you were consuming or, or staying away from, or even the calorie counts. But what, what, what predicted a healthy diet more than anything else is the fact that it was being cooked by a human being and not a corporation. Corporations cook very differently than people do. They use vast amounts of salt, fat, and sugar much more than you would ever use in your own cooking. And the reason they do that is those are three incredibly attractive and incredibly cheap ingredients. And when they're layered properly, as in a, um, uh, a chip or um, you know, various uh, pastries and, and, and forms of junk food, they're incredibly addictive. And in fact, people in the industry, they don't, they don't talk about addiction uh, in the food industry, even though they traffic in addiction. They talk about craveability. It's the same thing. Um, and snackability is another term they use. Um, it's a lovely word. Um, anyway, so I, I came to see that cooking has a huge bearing on our health. And in fact, there's been a lot of research in America that shows that even poor women who cook have healthier diets than wealthy women who don't. So you see the usual class bias in the quality of diet is, over, is overtaken by this fact, this key fact. Who's cooking your food?